Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see the Evolution X based on Android version 12L. So guys, let's begin. So here is the Android 12L ROM available for the Poco X2 and the Evolution X version here is snow 6.2.2 as you can see here and the security patch level we get to see here is the 5th of march the previous month one and the maintainer here is chirant the kernel we get here still is ratcliffe kernel so yeah which is really a good kernel so there are no issues with that now moving back this is the settings page just like the android 12 everything here is just the same there are few UI tweaks and few add-on features available here in this room which I'll show you later in the video so watch the video till the end now going to the settings uh, here in the system these are the options in the gestures these are the options available here the quick tap option here is missing I don't know if it's available in the Android 12 L version or it's only in the Android 12 in the system navigation gesture here are all the options available and if you want we can also hide the pill style but it's just not working as you can see settings this is a bug settings just keeps stopping so this is what it happens when you try to hide the pill this is the pill available and when you just try to hide this is what it gets and now when you try again try to do it so yeah this is a bug you cannot hide the pill though the feature here is available but you cannot hide and in the advanced gestures options these are the options available extended swipe action this is the action you can perform with through using that so these are this is the new option available extended swipe action and we can adjust the pill length from here which is working perfectly so no issues we can adjust the pill length but we cannot hide it now moving back uh, here is the option system update the system update here is a new update here is available as you can see it is recommended that users use Wi-Fi I don't know if we will be able to update it or not because the phone gets encrypted when you flash any Android 12 ROM so it will just not work though the update is available but you will not be able to update you will have to dirty flash it so to update just dirty flash the ROM that's it but the clean flash is always recommended then we get to see the POCO parts available here these are the options available and the POCO sound enhancer here is available so no issues POCO sound enhancer here is working in the security the face unlock here we get to see and the fingerprint option here is also available so no issues face unlock here is working but not that fast the app lock here is also working so no issues the app lock I think they should have made it to a separate password but the app lock uses the same password as the lock screen yes now moving back to the wallpaper and style this is just the same and yeah there are no changes here and the display options these are the options and we get to see the minimum refresh rate maximum and the low power refresh rate everything here is working perfectly fine these are the options we get to see and the 30 hertz display here is working 30 hertz display here is working 50 hertz here is also working yeah 120 hertz everything here is working fine now going to the sounds and vibration everything here is just the same no no missing features no problems no issues just the same as other android 12 rom now moving to the battery the battery backup on this rom here is good enough in my opinion i'll show you the history so from 87 percent to 2 percent it take took 3 hours and 48 minutes to drain so yes uh, that is 85 percent battery drain from 90 to 31 percent better during 2 hours 51 minutes of screen on time and to charge from 2 percent to 100 percent it took 1 hour 35 minutes to charge now talking about the customizations we get to see here is the evolver these are the theming options status bar notification quick settings all the evolution x options available here so just it's just the same as other normal evolution x so if you want to see the customization in details then watch the previous video that will be the card up available here watch the previous video of evolution x on android 12 everything all the customizations here are just the same as previous one now moving back going to the home screen this is the ui and everything here is a bit smaller here 
and there is a missing feature like in the android 12l we get to see the wallpaper here in the option in these option but here i don't know why it's just not showing that so that feature here is missing in this rom now as you can as you saw that bug that happened talking about the quick settings the quick settings ui here is just the same but everything here is a bit smaller adjust according to the large screen display now Talking about the home screen UI, like the haptic feedback, whenever you open the app drawer, there's a slight vibration you will feel here when you stretch the app drawer up. You also get to vibration of the back gesture and everything. So the haptics are added in this room. Now talking about the camera, the default camera we get to see here is just the, this normal camera. Nothing here is available, everything just the normal stuff, only the camera and the video mode. Otherwise, the G cam here is working absolutely fine, 8.1 and also the 7.4 version. Everything here is working fine for the G cam. Now, talking about the safety net status, the safety net status has also passed and all the banking apps are running perfectly fine, no issues. And as you saw that animation, that is a slight animation change here coming from the Android 12. There is a slight animation change in the app closing animation. Talking about the Geekbench scores, these are the scores 514 and 1524. So the scores are not that great, average scores and so is the performance. The performance, I think so, this is the initial build of the Android 12 L version. So the performance is kind of like this but yeah, overall for day to day usage it's just good. Talking about the DRM info, we get to see the Widevine L1 security level so no issues. Everything is working just fine. Now, the additional features, few additional features here are available in the Android 12 L. The first is, as I showed you, the app closing animation here. There is a bit of change here. Another change here is in the split screen. Now, you can turn this split screen. As you can see, the split top and this is the split bottom. Now, you can go home directly like that and the split screen will be as it is, it will be grouped so you can directly open that split and you also get to see the a bit rounded corners here in the split screen and you can adjust it, this split screen here and it works fine, it's good. Also, we get to see the free form here, this is available in the normal Android 12 also but as you can see in the free form. But now, if you open any other application, then it will just overwrite it. So the free form will be gone. It cannot overwrite onto any application. It just comes to the home screen. Yeah, these were the only few features available. Otherwise, everything here so far is just the same as Android 12. Now, talking about the calls, we get to see the... So as you can see, we get to see this. This is the record option available here. And the call record just works, but it speaks to the other person that this call is being recorded. So... The call record this is like one of the first custom room in which we get to see the inbuilt call record in the google dialer app yeah now talking about the bugs there is a bug sometimes like the as i already shown you like if you have noticed in the video or not sometimes uh, the notification say just goes black and same here happens in the landscape mode so as you can see this is the screen recording and in the landscape mode the quick settings here sometimes this is a bug as you can see, in the normal mode, it's just good, but in the landscape mode, this is what it happens. You will not be able to access any of the quick settings. So, these are some bugs present here in this room. Otherwise, as you can see, this, this is still happening. Now, you need to open any app and rotate your phone. So, this is a bug present here in this room. Otherwise, so far, everything just works fine. And there is a bug with Instagram and it is happening only in this room this is the bug with the room not with the instagram that i am not able to upload any stories instagram stories as you can see like i'll do this add to a story and in your story as you can see this is what it shows couldn't upload try again this is not the bug with the instagram this is bug with the room so if you use this room then you'll not be able to upload any instagram stories so this is a bug with the room Otherwise everything just works fine, so far it's good and for daily usage it's good, performance here is good, everything just great. Only bugs here are with the UI bugs, nothing else. So yeah, 
that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye